Hey everyone, welcome to the official shortwave channel and um, wanted to talk about something. We talked about it in the live show last time and I was very intrigued. Somebody had mentioned that he used rechargeable lithium on uh, double A's and had noise in his receivers and so that made me want to try some uh, lithium ion batteries um, I didn't have time to go to my um, electronics store so I bought them on eBay so they came in two this little box they are branded Dracutum Dracutum so this is the box comes with the charger where you put the uh, batteries in so this is the charger you put eight batteries, eight double A's. There's another one. Be careful if you look at it online. There's another one which uh, also has triple A lithium ions. So the size of the holes are different for triple A's. Uh, there's one that's just triple A, one just double A like this. And there's one that's hybrid, has four triple A and four double A to charge. So uh, this was something like 35 Canadian dollars uh, came with eight batteries so the batteries look like this uh, they're kind of cute actually I like what batteries look like I don't know why so these are the Dracutum double A's and so these are lithium ion batteries which means they need to have a little circuit inside to regulate because lithium ion batteries are 3.7 volts and so that is the chemistry of lithium ion so they have a regulating circuit built in that drops it to 1.5 volts why would you want this rather than anything else well several reasons first of all if you're still using alkaline batteries i'm trying to phase out as much alkaline as possible uh, because you know they die and you have to recycle them and so on uh, so recycle uh, batteries that that actually can recharge or rechargeable batteries are a better choice and for a long time I've been using um, an IMH nickel methyl hydride uh, rechargeables which are great they are great batteries they're not too toxic for the environment and uh, but they have a flaw and the flaw is um, NICADs and NIMH are 1.2 volts and for most devices it's okay it's gonna work fine but there are devices that it just ain't gonna work and this is where lithium ion double A's are interesting is they actually give out 1.5 volts like alkaline batteries so in devices where rechargeables are not really a good idea because it doesn't work these actually work fine um, the other thing that is nice is that even though they are very small their milliamp hour is uh, their power actually that they can give is pretty high uh, around 35 3600 milliamp hour and they're capable of that so um, this makes this choice of battery a very interesting one no memory effect you just charge them when you want to charge them that's it and uh, basically works on everything so uh, that's the first take the second take is I've put them in radios because we had that discussion that someone was saying well they're noisy well I've put them in two radios I've put uh, four in the Sony ICF 20, 7600 so if you uh, if I open the little door here you'll see that they are in here look at that so those are what I think there's a power rating on them of 30 30 some hundred I don't know where I saw it oh here so here we go the power rating is here it's 3600 and um, I've put them also in my uh, Texan PL 680 and uh, been playing around and tuning the bands and everything 
and my first observation on that is that they are not noisy at all. So Dracutum uh, could there have been a batch that was noisy? It's it's possible. I mean, these need to have some kind of little regulating circuit. Could that brand that was purchased uh, have noise because of the regulating circuit? Yeah, it's possible. I, I guess it's possible. But uh, those are super quiet. So uh, I actually purchased uh, the charger with eight batteries and I purchased 16 batteries extra to have enough batteries uh, for my devices. I thought with the nickel metal hydrides that I have, plus these lithium, I think this is gonna be pretty cool. And they, they pretty much hold charge, so uh, you can put them in radios and still have a, a good charge even if you don't use them for several weeks. So uh, that was my uh, little update on these batteries. Um, there's a different brand of them in the, um, the, uh, the store that I go to, Addison. Some uh, don't need a charger. I've seen many of them, if you have actually go out and, and check the batteries. I've seen some with, on the side, a little USB charger. And all you have to do is put the cable and plug them in into some USB port and it charges the batteries without having an external charger. So this could also be an interesting choice. So uh, more on these, I actually want to compare also how long do they last? If I put, you know, double A's, like one of the things I want to put and I want to do is use this Sony, put alkalines, uh, energizer, for example, or maybe I got Panasonic's here. Um, and see how long do they go before the battery indicator says, you know, battery is starting to get mm, a little low. Uh, do it with the NIMH and do it with the lithium and see if the lithium really, really outlasts those. So I think this is going to be an interesting experiment. So uh, more to come, and I guess we're going to talk about these on a live show or something because uh, I think it's, it's very interesting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys.